welcome to this tutorial which looks at creating a image gallery in Drupal. Now what we're going to use is Lightbox. So if you go to Lightbox um, on the Drupal site, download the module for it. Now I'm working with version 7 of Drupal, so I'll download that zip. Once you've downloaded it, extract that module into your site's or modules folder. Okay, now you can see that I've got my Lightbox module in my modules folder. Now to enable this, I'm going to go back into Drupal. Now I'm working off the previous tutorial in which I covered creating a gallery. So I've already got two images in there. Now what I'm going to do is go to modules and look for Lightbox and enable it. Once you've enabled it, save configuration. Now once you've enabled it, you can configure it. Okay, now from this page you can actually modify how your gallery looks. Now I'm going to click on continuous galleries so that my gallery loops. So when I get to the end of the gallery, if I click on the next button, it's just going to jump back to the beginning of the gallery. Now once I've done that, I'm just going to go save configuration and close. Okay. Now what we need to do is have it so that if I click on one of these images, it opens up with Lightbox. At the moment when I click on it, it actually goes to the page with the image on it and it allows me to comment on it. Okay, so what I want to do is go back into the views. So I'm going to go into view and modify the one for gallery. Okay, so we'll do it with one for the moment and then you can try it with all of them. Now, because I'm modifying a view, I want this image to actually display differently. I need to edit my field image. So I'm going to click on image. And from here where it says formatter, I should be able to pick Lightbox now that I've actually enabled the module. And what this is basically saying is that do you want to display a medium sized image and then when you click on it, it expands to the original or do you want a thumb size, size which goes to a medium, etc. So you can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to go for medium to original. Okay. Once I've done that, um, I can actually stylize this as well if I wanted to. I'm not going to play around with it too much. Click on apply all displays. Okay. Once that's done, save. Okay, now once that's done, you can actually go to the gallery page and if you click on one of the images, this is what it should do. And that's your light box. If I click on next, it's going to go to that image there. If I click on that again, it should go back to sheep. Okay. Now, if I go to farm and do that, it's actually just going to jump to the page because I haven't changed the formatter. Okay, so you'd have to go into each one of those views and modify the formatter. And again, play around with this view the different options um, and see whether or not you can stylize it, customize it even further. That's how you use the Lightbox module.